Greetings and salutations viewers, I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Amnesia, a machine for pigs. When I last left off, we were still traveling further and further into this area to try and reach the machine. We're kind of in a sewer-like area. There was a water monster at one point, I got freaked out. There was also a pig that kind of turned invisible. That was weird too. But either way, we're kind of wandering about trying to figure out where to go. Random orchestra sting, thank you very much. I'm assuming I missed something during that tra traverse and I just wasn't paying 100%, but it's fine. That's fine. In the meantime, can I get back here? I can. Was my crouch button again? Yeah. Okay, there's nothing here. So. I can turn this. Wonder what that did. Other than possibly send all the monsters to come eat me. Looks like there's two I gotta probably do, so... Was that there before? I don't think it was. Who keeps leaving these pig masks everywhere? Jeez. That is extremely loud. Now I can't go that way, so... Ah, silence. To some extent. Another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. it. I cannot help but feel I'm trapped in some great game. Forced to undertake endless Herculean t labors for the promised reward of my darling children. Gee, it's almost like the game just kind of went a little meta there and knocked the fourth wall down. Anyway... Moving forward. Can't go that direction. Can go this way, though. <laughs> oh, no! Up, 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 up! Okay, that happened. I'm slightly traumatized, but I will live for now. So after that, <laughs> Ugh, I choked myself on my own spit. I'm assuming I go up towards the stairs, but I'm kind of curious to see what's down this direction. Or maybe I'm supposed to go this way? I don't even know. That looks like that might progress the plot, so I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. Unless I go either way. Oh. Decisions, decisions. Flood breach, emergency shutdown in place. Okay, so I was supposed to do this, and then I go the other way. Fair enough. This one's stuck. Oh, I think I get what I must do. 
I must take this down to the other area. That's what I'm assuming. Or not. Okay, game. What's your game? Oh, okay. You go in here, don't you? There you go. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, at least they tell you rather than making you, like, goof around the whole time. That's a plus. There we go. So now I can go through here and go the other direction, I'm guessing. The flood is drained. I have prevailed. The saboteur is beaten. My heart pounds with excitement even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter, as Lily once lay by in our bedding bed and summoned me into manhood. That's quite a... That's quite a way to describe it. I'm assuming I go that way? Or do I just go the other way? Which way do I go, George? Which way do I go? Pretty sure it's not this way, so I guess the other way it is then. Because I can't get past the steam. So. Down we go. Oh, it's much more quiet over here. I probably could have gone. Oh, I get you. It was flooded down here. I could have. Ow! Gone that way. Oh, okay, I see. I see. The thing was lowered. Now it's just hired. If that made a little bit of sense. Okay. I get it now. Got to turn my sound down a little because that is loud. There we go. I see we're cleansing ourselves again, but what will cleanse us of our sins? Okay, so I can't even, like, if I wanted to close that, I can't. Let's see, is there anything remotely interesting in this room really quick? Anything noteworthy, as it were? No. Very well then. On what? The children, dancing. They pulled the child loose from the thresher, or at least what was left. More where that came from, said the foreman, apologizing for the inconvenience. Oh, ha, ha, a kid just died in the thresher. Oh, bother. Well, thus far it's quiet. Esque. 
There's a note. March 15th. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden, they cleaned my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within, the gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will paint flowers in the rotten grip cage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me, as we rolled sick and heaving, and I remember what we pulled into Southampton, and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London, and I set it upon the mantelpiece, and went into the house, and gathered the servants, and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden, and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. Okay. So yeah, it does seem like he found one of the orbs that uh, Mr. Alexander of Brennenberg was so obsessed with. And when they first said Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop, and they were inseparable, always together, one soul and two bodies, and my love was all-consuming. I would die for you. I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come far for you, my darling boys. Again, pretty sure your boys are dead, but, you know, keep falling into your delusions. Oh, stop. No unauthorized, unauthorized persons to enter this facility by order of the management. Bitch, I am the management. I think. Pretty sure I made this machine, so yeah. Bitch, I am the management. And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. Is the orb talking to me or is it just that I'm insane? Probably both. But interesting that they read that out loud after I had just read that. I guess in case you didn't pick up the note. Don't say. All right, going down. Toot toot. Oh, yeah, that music's ominous. Is that the machine? Holy cow, it's huge. Also, nice touch with the opera singer there. Last floor. Um, a monster of your own making? I'm assuming I go that way, but I'm kind of curious of looking around a little bit. Because this is pretty frickin' cool. While also being very frickin' terrifying. Ah. 
I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Fascinating. Do I have to start this thing up? Do I have to turn this thing on? Before I can progress? Looks it, because it loops around there. What is that? Rod control room. No, no, no. Open you silly billy. Uh, that's actually a question. I probably can't actually turn it on right away. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Well, that escalated quickly. I gotta play around with buttons too? Oh goody. I don't suppose that uh, you can give me some instructions on what I'm supposed to do. I'm kind of exploring everything first before I decide to like turn this thing on. Cause I guarantee you I turn this thing on something bad's gonna happen. Mm -hmm.